Well, we're here to show you a quick little video for um, auto body guys to, to do some graphic work with some of the uh, texture stencils that we use and are produced by Dan Ham. What's really cool about these are that they're very simple to use and uh, you don't have to be an artist to use these, but it can give some great little effects to your work you're doing with stripes or something. This is a black panel we've got taped off. We did about a six inch silver stripe. Then I took two pieces of quarter inch fine line and left about a little bit more than an eighth inch gap and top and bottom, which I sprayed red in. What we're gonna do now is show you those stencils. So I'm gonna pull this piece of tape off. Now I'm gonna use it to remask our pinstripe. We'll do it on the same on the bottom, and that will protect our pinstripe that we put on there. So now we've got the silver exposed. So what I'm gonna be using is this particular stencil, and this is one of the comes in the kit, and it's pretty awesome. This one's called Holy Moly. And uh, so let's get started. I split uh, a set of the dots pretty much about halfway. I'm just gonna spray, and this is black that I have in here, and I'm not really going all the way to the edge because I'm gonna overlap and blend these together. So now I'm just spraying this black in over the silver. I'm gonna pull that tape off, move on down a little bit. We'll go right back to doing the same thing. You can see how I overlapped a little way so that I'm not really gonna hit this edge and create any kind of a line pattern in there. You just do it like that a little bit at a time and overlap and that way you'll get a, a pretty seamless blend. Kind of using my other hand to hold the stencil down, try to keep it as flat as I can. Okay, so once you spray it all the way across, you've got your pattern in there. This is gonna be like a screen and so everything wouldn't be absolutely perfect on it. So we've tried to, you know, let it be random like that. Now because this is taped off, I want that screen to set back a little bit from the edges, so kind of do a drop shadow. So I'm gonna go along the edges and then just spray with the airbrush itself to create a, a bit of a shadow. So I'm about half on the tape and half off the tape onto the pattern. So that's leaving a nice strong silver <clears throat> and with a, 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 a red pinstripe running along the edge. And we've done the same at the top. So really very quickly, you're able to create a, a, a pattern that you do that can create a particular effect. Now we could have done this a lot lighter. It wouldn't have had to been so dark. We could have used, uh, we could have put a candy coat over the top of that and made a really neat looking pattern underneath. Depending on how you want to use it in a stripe, but it has a, a lot of motion, you know, when I'm sitting here looking at it, you know, so you're creating movement, you're doing something that's pretty simple and uh, with a, a quick technique that can add some really nice things to some of your, um, some of your graphics that you want to play around with. And they have a whole host of different types of stencils. Doesn't have to be just this one. There's all kinds of texture stencils that you can utilize. So you can get these stencils from any uh, local distributor that deals with SADA equipment and or you can go to SADAUSA.com and download the digital catalog. And there you'll be able to locate these and where you can get them. Enjoy.